Hi friends, I am Arun Giri. You are most welcome to our channel Technical Concept. So this is video number 36 of our series HVC system. So our today's topic is reducing plenum system. This is a type of supply duct system. Okay. So there are mainly six types of supply duct system are there. Extended plenum system, reducing plenum system, reducing trunk system, spider system, radial system, and perimeter loop system. In last video, in video number 35, we have uh, seen regarding extended plenum system. If you want to uh, know more about extended plenum system, then please watch the video number 35 of our uh, playlist. Okay. In this video, we will see regarding reducing plenum system and in uh, next videos, we will see regarding all these topics. Okay. So let's start our today's topic, reducing plenum system. So first of all, I will explain you in short regarding the extended plenum system okay and its drawbacks so in extended plenum system there one is a one HU and one main duct is connected to this HU okay the size of this main duct is uh, constant throughout its length and its maximum length is 24 feet okay this is the main duct and its maximum length is 24 feet okay we can't increase this length beyond 24 feet if we are increasing this uh, main duct length beyond 24 feet then what happens there will be less pressure in this ducts branch ducts which are closer closer to this hu and there will be high pressure in the branch ducts which are far away from this at the end of this duct okay so to avoid this drawback what we are doing we are using reducing plenum system okay so this is the diagram of reducing plenum system okay the main advantage of this reducing plenum system is that we can increase the main duct length beyond 24 feet okay that also by without decreasing or increasing the pressure in the branch ducts which are close to this HU okay so how we are doing this we will see in detail so this is the uh, diagram of reducing plenum system uh, how we are reducing this uh, duct length we, are, we will see now okay suppose this, these are the branch ducts okay and this is the main duct okay if our velocity is uh, velocity in this branch duct is near to 50 percent of this main duct okay then what we are doing we are reducing the cross section area of this main duct due to reduction in cross section area what happens there will be proper balancing of air in this branch ducts and in this branch duct also okay so due to reduction in cross section area what happens there will be uh, no pressure drop in this uh, branch ducts which are closer to this HU and there will be no high pressure generation in this branch which are uh, at the end of this main duct okay so this is the benefit of this reducing plenum system that means by using this reducing plenum system we can avoid the drawbacks of extended plenum system okay so this is all about the today's video i hope you like the video if you like the video then please press the like button subscribe the channel and share this video so thanks for watching bye bye if you have any query then please comment in the comment box so thanks for watching bye bye